I'm Ken Rockwell with KenRockwell.com and KenRockwell.tv. Let's take a look at Canon's magnificent 24 to 105 millimeter f2.8 L IS USM power zoom lens. If you want the full review and all the explicit details and downloadable files shot directly from the camera, those are available at my KenRockwell.com website. And there's a link in the description. I certainly recommend you see that as it's got every every possible performance aspect is all charted out and measured in great detail. But for fun on YouTube, here we go. Canon's new 24 to 105 millimeter f 2.8 L IS USM Z. Z, the Z stands for power zoom. If you buy the appropriate extra cost remote control, it's this thing that grabs onto here and attaches through these holes and talks to these contacts. It has its own built-in motor. It's powered from your camera's battery and it interacts with these gear teeth on the zoom ring for smooth power zoom for video. But video is not really my thing. Actually, I like this lens. I like this lens a lot. I thought it was going to be a big, bulky thing. It's really <laughs> the size of an old-fashioned and lighter weight, 7200 2.8. It's actually really convenient. But let's also take a look first at what you get. It's nice is they throw in this free case. And honestly, I have never used any of these cases. I don't know why you would. Here's the hood. It's the usual plastic thing. Which is completely ineffective. Look how tiny this thing is. The problem is you have a large zoom range, like 24 to 105. At the wide end, this might do a little bit, but at the tele end, it doesn't do anything. I use my hand. I leave this back in the box in the case. Case has a strap. We've got some caps. Here's a tripod foot. The tripod foot can attach or disattach. The collar never comes off. That stays in the lens for good. This comes on like this. You can tighten it like that. To remove it, you want to push the release button, slide it forward, and you're good to go. One thing that's missing is, is the older lenses historically have always included a little quarter 20 tripod socket on this little stub if you forget your foot. This doesn't have that, so you're never going to get to, to use that. But let's take a look at the lens. The lens itself is marvelous. Actually, I can hand hold this thing with one hand. How cool is that? It's not that big and heavy. One hand with my R6 Mark II. But let's take a look at the lens. It's all plastic on the outside, with the exception of the tripod collar. This is all metal. What's bizarre is, you won't notice. You know these marks that they usually have that lets you set it to 90 degree settings? Well, they're on there. Zoom in a little bit. They're on there, but they're not painted. There's no paint in there. It's all black. I would take some white out and fill those in. In fact, I probably will do that. I just haven't done that today. Everything else is plastic on the outside. The inside is gloriously, apparently all metal. It feels wonderful. The best thing about this lens that I wouldn't understand just from looking at it online before I actually got mine is that all of the other Canon lenses, except maybe the 100 to 300 2.8 that I haven't opened yet, that I also have, is they're all pumper zooms. They all get longer and shorter as you shoot and as you zoom. This is this one ring, and the beauty of it is just one simple fingertip. This is the most beautiful thing ever. It's a beautifully smooth and easy to work zoom ring. It also works just as easily pointed straight up or straight down. There's really no change in the balance of the lens. There's no creep. It's counterbalanced, which is a marvelous thing. A fingertip, that's all you need while shooting. I love that. As I said, this is all plastic and these are gear teeth for use with, uh, you know, it's funny, a follow focus rig that we call it in the movie biz, but <laughs> considering this is an electronic focus ring, I'm not sure how effective this lens, which is intended also for shooting video with all these ex uh, various features, how well it's going to follow focus on a follow focus rig if this is just electronic and kind of loosey-goosey. It's interesting that this is the first aperture ring I've seen in any electronic Canon lens for a very long time. The odd part is that it only works for shooting movies. You have to unlock it. This is a spring-loaded little iris. You have to push that forward so you can get it out of the A position. Now you can set this. Apparently it goes in 30 seconds of a stop so you can get smooth transitions and not uh, see the shifts in brightness as you change this. However, this does not have any effect when shooting still. Since I'm a still shooter, that's what you get. It's got a focus limiter. I've never used these. This keeps it from focusing closer than a meter. Autofocus, stabilizer, three mode stabilizer. It's marvelously sharp as pretty much every lens is today. It's ultra sharp. The beauty of it is that honestly, my 24 to 70s, I'm always at the 70 stop. 70 is lame. It's not good for anything as far as I know. I mean, this is all a matter of artistic intent. But 70 millimeters is not tell. It's barely normal. It's kind of a waste of time for me. I'm either shooting at the, down at the 24 or 16 millimeter end, or I'm shooting at like 150. So 
The fact that this gets out to 105, it's only 50% longer than 70, which is actually a pretty significant amount. However, I find it 200% more useful. So this is far more useful than all my 2470s. And I'll admit that Actually, I usually shoot the RF 24 to 240 millimeter lens just because it lets me shoot everything. And I personally don't need 2.8. Those of you who do, that's why you're looking at this lens. You know, 2.8 was very important back in the days of film because back in the days of film, ISO 50 was the good film. And by the time you went to 100, you're already making some compromises. So you really want to shoot at the slowest ISO possible, which meant you're using 2.8 a lot. Today, I don't find it that important. If I want soft backgrounds, well, I'll grab a longer lens. Honestly, I usually use the 100 to 400. It focuses ultra fast. It focuses faster than my own eyes. If I want to focus from a macro distance out to infinity, it just does it, and it's silent. There's a little bit of clattering that you can hear in a very quiet environment that's just the lens starting to move, but the actual motion, silent. Love that. So this lens, I was surprised. I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought it was going to be one of these big poser lenses that Canon seems to like to do. But honestly, love this lens. It's hard to find. The way you get this is you order it and you be patient, as I did. Otherwise, you'll pay more for it used today, as in 2024. The full review with sample images and everything is up on my website, kenrockwell.com. That's where you can find everything about this lens with explicit samples you can download, full resolution straight from the camera, so you can see for yourself what it does. Thanks again for watching. Ken Rockwell and KenRockwell.com here on KenRockwell.tv.